In Russian Orthodox Church history, the Old Believers, or Old Ritualists separated after 1666 from the official Russian Orthodox Church as a protest against church reforms introduced by Patriarch Nikon of Moscow between 1652 and 1666. Old believers continue liturgical practices that the Russian Orthodox Church maintained before the implementation of these reforms. Russian speakers refer to the schism itself as rascal, etymologically indicating a cleaving apart. Introductory summary of origins, in 1652, Patriarch Nikon introduced a number of ritual and textual revisions with the aim of achieving uniformity between the practices of the Russian and Greek Orthodox churches. Nikon having noticed discrepancies between Russian and Greek rites and texts, ordered an adjustment of the Russian rites to align with the Greek ones of his time. In doing so, Nikon acted without adequate consultation with the clergy and without gathering a council. After the implementation of these revisions, the church anathematized and subsidized a euro with the support of Muscovite state power a euro the prior liturgical rite itself, as well as those who were reluctant to pass to the revised rite. Those who maintained fidelity to the existing rite endured severe persecutions from the end of the 17th century until the beginning of the 20th century as schismatics. They became known as Old Ritualists, a name introduced during the reign of Catherine the Great. They continued to call themselves simply Orthodox Christians. The reforms of Patriarch Nikon, by the middle of the 17th century, Greek and Russian church officials, including Patriarch Nikon of Moscow, had noticed discrepancies between contemporary Russian and Greek usages. They reached the conclusion that the Russian Orthodox Church had, as a result of errors of incompetent copyists, developed rites and liturgical books of its own that had significantly deviated from the Greek originals. Thus, the Russian Orthodox Church had become dissonant from the other Orthodox churches. Later research was to vindicate the Muscovite service books as belonging to a different Greek recension from that which was used by the Greeks at the time of Nikon, and the unrevised Muscovite books were actually older than the current Greek books, which had undergone several revisions over the centuries and ironically, were new and contained innovations. Nikon wanted to have the same right in the Russian Tsardom and in majority ethnic Slavic lands then part of Polish Euro-Lithuanian Commonwealth to attract local Orthodox rebels, whose right was more close to the Greek one than that in the Moscow Duchy, as Nikon did not want to adopt two different rites in the same church. Nikon, supported by Tsar Alexis, carried out some preliminary liturgical reforms. In 1652, he convened a synod and exhorted the clergy on the need to compare Russian Typicon, Eucologian, and other liturgical books with their Greek counterparts. Monasteries from all over Russia received requests to send examples to Moscow in order to have them subjected to a comparative analysis. Such a task would have taken many years of conscientious research and could hardly have given an unambiguous result, given the complex development of the Russian liturgical texts over the previous centuries and the lack of textual historiographic techniques at the time. The Locontinans for Patriarch Pityurim of Moscow convened the 1666 Great Moscow Synod, which brought Patriarch Makarios III Zaim, Patriarch Pasius of Alexandria and many bishops to Moscow. Some scholars allege that the visiting patriarchs each received both 20,000 rubles in gold and furs for their participation. This council officially established the reforms and anathematized not only all those opposing the innovations, but the old Russian books and rites themselves as well. As a side effect of condemning the past of the Russian Orthodox Church and her traditions, the messianic theory depicting Moscow as the Third Rome appeared weaker. Instead of the guardian of Orthodox faith, Moscow seemed an accumulation of serious liturgical mistakes. Nevertheless, both Patriarch and Tsar wished to carry out their reforms, although their endeavors may have had as much or more political motivation as religious. Several authors on this subject point out that Tsar Alexis, encouraged by his military success in the Russo-Polish war to conquer West Russian provinces and Ukraine, developed ambitions of becoming the liberator of the Orthodox areas which at the time formed part of the Ottoman Empire. They also mention the role of the Near East Patriarchs, who actively supported the idea of the Russian Tsar becoming the liberator of all Orthodox Christians and who suggested that Patriarch Nikon might become the new Patriarch of Constantinople. 
equals main alterations introduced by Patriarch Nikon equals, the numerous changes in both texts and rites occupied approximately 400 pages. Old believers present the following as the most crucial changes. Today's readers might perceive these alterations as trivial, but the faithful of that time saw rituals and dogmas as strongly interconnected, church rituals had from the very beginning represented and symbolized doctrinal truth. Furthermore, the authorities imposed the reforms in an autocratic fashion, with no consultation of the people who would become subject to them, and those who reacted against the Nikonian reforms would have objected as much to the manner of imposition as to the actual alterations. In addition, changes often occurred arbitrarily in the texts. For example, wherever the books read th rho euro th nn th three quarters nn sh, Christ, Nikon's assistant substituted th th one half n s h, meaning the sun, and wherever they read th th one half n s h they substituted th rho euro th nn th three quarters nn s h. Another example is that wherever the books read th micron n euro th th three quarters th squared no, meaning church, Nikon substituted th rho euro th degree th one quarter n s h meaning temple and vice versa. The perceived arbitrariness of the changes infuriated the faithful, who resented needless change. The incorrectly realized book revision by Nikon, owing to its speed, its range, its foreignness of sources and its offending character was bound to provoke protest, given the seriously assimilated, not only national, but also genuine orthodox identity of the Russian people. The protest was indeed global, the episcopate, the clergy, both regular and monastic, the laity and the ordinary people. Schism, opponents of the ecclesiastical reforms of Nikon emerged among all strata of the people and in relatively large numbers. However, after the deposition of Patriarch Nikon, who presented too strong a challenge to the Tsar's authority, a series of church councils officially endorsed Nikon's liturgical reforms. The old believers fiercely rejected all innovations, and the most radical amongst them maintained that the official church had fallen into the hands of the Antichrist. Under the guidance of Ashpris Avakum Petrov, who had become the leader of the Old Believers movement, the Old Believers publicly denounced and rejected all ecclesiastical reforms. The state church anathematized both the old rites and books and those who wished to stay loyal to them at the Synod of 1666. From that moment, the old believers officially lacked all civil rights. The state had the most active old believers arrested, and executed several of them some years later in 1682. Equals after the schism equals, after 1685 a period of persecutions began, including both torture and executions. Many old believers fled Russia altogether, particularly for the Grand Duchy of Lithuania, where the community exists to this day. Old believers became the dominant denomination in many regions, including the Pmas of the Russian Far North, in the Kursk region, in the Ural Mountains, in Siberia and in the Russian Far East. The 40,000-strong community of Lipervan still lives in neighboring Kalia Rayon of Ukraine and Tulsha County of Romania in the Danube Delta. By the 1910s, in the last Imperial Russian census just before the October Revolution, Approximately 10% of the population of the Russian Empire said that they belonged to one of the old believer branches. Government oppression could vary from relatively moderate, as under Peter the Great a Euro to intense, as under Tsar Nicholas I the Russian Synodal State Church and the state authorities often saw old believers as dangerous elements and as a threat to the Russian state. In 1905, Tsar Nicholas II signed an act of religious freedom that ended the persecution of all religious minorities in Russia. The old believers gained the right to build churches, to ring church bells, to hold processions and to organize themselves. It became prohibited to refer to old believers as Raskolniki, a name they consider insulting. People often refer to the period from 1905 until 1917 as the golden age of the old faith. One can regard the Act of 1905 as emancipating the old believers, who had until then occupied an almost illegal position in Russian society. Nevertheless some restrictions for old believers continued, for example, they were forbidden from joining the civil service. Old believer denominations, 
Although all Old Believers groups emerged as a result of opposition to the Nikonian reform, they do not constitute a single monolithic body. Despite the emphasis on invariable adherence to the pre-Nikonian traditions, the Old Believers feature a great diversity of groups that profess different interpretations of the church tradition and often are not in communion with each other. Since none of the bishops joined the Old Believers, apostolically ordained priests of the Old Rite would have soon become extinct. Two responses appeared to this dilemma, the Pupuvzi and the Bees Pupuvzi. Equals Pupuvzi equals, the Pupuvzi represented the more moderate conservative opposition, those who strove to continue religious and church life as it had existed before the reforms of Nikon. They recognized ordained priests from the new style Russian Orthodox Church who joined the old believers and who had denounced the Nikonian reforms. In 1846 they convinced Ambrose of Bielokrinitsa, a Greek Orthodox bishop whom Turkish pressure had removed from his see at Sarajevo, to become an old believer and to consecrate three Russian old believer priests as bishops. In 1859, the number of old believer bishops in Russia reached ten and they established their own episcopate, the Bielokrinitskaya hierarchy. Not all Pupuvzi old believers recognized this hierarchy. Dissenters known as Beglopapuvzi obtained their own hierarchy in the 1920s. The priestess old believers thus manifest as two churches which share the same beliefs, but which treat each other's hierarchy as illegitimate. Pupuvzi have priests bishops and all sacraments, including the Eucharist. Bielokrinitskaya hierarchia euro the largest Pupuvzi denomination. One can refer to the Russian part of this denomination as the Bielokrinitsko Sochlesi or as the Russian Orthodox Old Rite Church. Neokrasniki. Novozibkovskaya hierarchy or Russian Old Orthodox Church, Beglopapuvzi, Luzhkan, also known as Luzhkovsko Sochlesi. In some places, they had no priests and so belonged to the Bees Papuvzi. Equals Bees Papuvzi equals, the Bees Papuvzi rejected the world, where they believed the Antichrist reigned. They preached the imminent end of the world, asceticism, adherence to the old rituals and the old faith. More radical movements which already existed prior to the reforms of Nikon and where eschatological and anti-clerical sentiments were predominant, would join the Bees Papuvzi old believers. The Bees Papuvzi claimed that any priest or ordinary who has ever used the Nikonian rites have forfeited apostolic succession. Therefore, the true Church of Christ had ceased to exist on earth, and they therefore renounced priests and all sacraments except baptism. The Bees Papuvzi movement has many subgroups. Bees Papuvzi have no priests and no Eucharist. Pumorian Old Orthodox Church or Danilovtsi originated in North Russia. Initially they rejected marriage and prayer for the Tsar. Novopomorzi, or New Pomorzi except marriage, Stara Pomorzi, or Old Pomorzi reject marriage, Fatoziovtzi, Society of Christian Old Believers of the Old Pomorzi Unmarried Confession. Deny marriage and practice cloister style asceticism. Philippians, named after their founder, Philip. They were repressed by the Russian government and so, the Filipovsi started practicing self-immolation as a means for the preservation of the faith. Shazaven, a Siberian branch. The Shazaven initially has priests, but later decided to change to a priestless practice. Also known as Semiuski. Bees Papuvzi, minor groups. Apart from these major groups, many smaller groups have emerged and became extinct at various times since the end of the 17th century. Aristovzi from the name of the merchant Aristov. Titlovtzi, emerged from Fatoziovtzi, supported the use of the inscription INRI upon the Orthodox cross, which other groups rejected. Troparian Confession, a group that commemorated the Tsar in the hymns. Daniel's Confession of the Partially Married. Adamant Confession, refused to use money in passports. Aram's Confession, second half of the 18th century a spin-off of the Filipovzi. Grandmother's Confession, or the self-baptized, practiced self-baptism or the baptism by midwives, since a valid priest owed a euro in their opinion a euro had ceased to exist. Whole worshippers relinquished the use of icons and prayed to the east through a hole in the wall. Melchistex, practiced a peculiar lay quasi-eucharistic rite. Runaways, or wanderers. Nituvzi, or Saviour's Confession. 
denied the possibility of celebrating sacraments and praying in churches. The name comes from the Russian net no, since they have no sacraments, no churches, no priests, etc. Redinovitsi. Redinovitsi agreed to become a part of the official Russian Orthodox Church while saving the old rites. First appearing in 1800, the Edinovitsi come under the Omophorian of the Russian Orthodox Church of the Moscow Patriarchate, Russian Orthodox Church outside Russia, abbreviated as ROCOR, have come into communion under different circumstances and retain being old believers in the traditional context and retain the use of the pre-Nikonian rituals. They can be regarded as old ritualists, but they do not count as old believers in the traditional context. Validity of the reformist theory, sources of Russian traditions, Vladimir officially converted the Eastern Slavs to Christianity in 988, and the people had adopted Greek Orthodox liturgical practices. At the end of the 11th century, the efforts of Saint Theodosius of the Caves in Kiev introduced the so-called Studite Typikon to Russia. This Typikon reflected the traditions of the urban monastery of Staudios in Constantinople. The Studite Typikon predominated throughout the western part of the Byzantine Empire and was accepted throughout the Russian lands. In the end of the 14th century through the work of Cyprian, Metropolitan of Moscow and Kiev, the Studite liturgical practices were gradually replaced in Russia with the so-called Jerusalem Typikon or the Typikon of St. Subasa Euro originally, an adaptation of the Studite liturgy to the customs of Palestinian monasteries. The process of gradual change of Typica would continue throughout the 15th century and, because of his slow implementation, met with little resistance Euro and like Nikon's reforms, conducted with abruptness and violence. However, in the course of the 15th Euro 17th centuries, Russian scribes continued to insert some Studite material into the general shape of Jerusalem Typicon. This explains the differences between the modern version of the Typicon, used by the Russian Orthodox Church, and the pre nikonian Russian recension of Jerusalem Typicon, called Okotsakovno. This pre nikonian version, based on the Moscow printed editions of 1610, 1633 and 1641, continues to be used by modern old believers. However, in the course of the polemics against old believers, the official Russian Orthodox Church often claimed the discrepancies as Russian innovations, errors, or arbitrary translations. This charge of Russian innovation reappeared repeatedly in the textbooks and anti-rascal treatises and catechases, including, for example, those by Dmitry of Rostov. The critical evaluation of the sources and of the essence of the church reforms began only in the 1850s with the groundbreaking work of several church historians, Byzantologists and theologians, such as S. A. Balikurov, A. P. Shkapov, A. K. Borazdin, N. Gibonet, and later E. E. Golubinsky, A. V. Kartashev, A. A. Dmitrovsky and Nikolai F. Kaptarov. The latter four were members of the Imperial Academy of Sciences. Research was continued later mainly by Sergei Zenkovsky, a specialist on Russian ecclesiastical culture. Golubinsky, Dmitrovsky, Kartashov and Kaptarov, among others, demonstrated that the rites, rejected and condemned by the church reforms, were genuine traditions of Orthodox Christianity that had been altered in Greek usage during the 15th Euro 16th centuries, but remained unchanged in Russia. The pre nikonian liturgical practices, including some elements of the Russian Typikon, Okotsakovno, were demonstrated to have preserved earlier Byzantine practices being closer to the earlier Byzantine texts than some later Greek customs. Remarkably, the scholars who opened the new avenues for re-evaluation of the reform by the Russian church themselves held membership in the official church, but took up study of the causes and background of the reforms and of the resulting schism. Their research revealed that the official explanation regarding the old Russian books and rites was unsustainable. Background as Sergei Zenkovsky points out in his standard work Russia's Old Believers, the Old Believers schism did not occur simply as a result of a few individuals with power and influence. The schism had complex causes, revealing historical processes and circumstances in 17th century Russian society. Those who broke from the hierarchy of the official state church had quite divergent views on church, faith, society, 
affects state power and social issues. Thus the collective term old believers groups together various movements within Russian society which actually had existed long before 1666 or Euro 67. They shared a distrust of state power and of the episcopate, insisting upon the right of the people to arrange their own spiritual life, and expressing the ambition to aim for such control. Both the Pupuvzi and Bespupuvzi, although theologically and psychologically two different teachings, manifested spiritual, eschatological and mystical tendencies throughout Russian religious thought and church life. One can also emphasize the schism's position in the political and cultural background of its time, increasing Western influence, secularization, and attempts to subordinate the church to the state. Nevertheless, the old believers sought above all to defend and preserve the purity of the Orthodox faith, embodied in the old rituals, which inspired many to strive against Patriarch Nikon's church reforms even unto death. In the past the old believers movement was often perceived as an obscure faith in rituals that led to the deaths of tens of thousands of ignorant people. Old believers were accused of not being able to distinguish the important from the unimportant. To many people at that time, however, rituals expressed the very essence of their faith. Old believers hold that the preservation of a certain microclimate that enables the salvation of one's soul requires not only living by the commandments of Christ, but also carefully preserving church tradition, which contains the spiritual power and knowledge of past centuries, embodied in external forms. The old believers reject the idea of contents a priori prevailing over form. To illustrate this issue, the renowned Russian historian Vesely Klyukevsky referred to poetry. He argued, that if one converts a poem into prose, the contents of the poem may remain intact but the poem will lose its charm and emotional impact. Moreover, the poem will essentially no longer exist. In the case of religious rituals, form and contents do not just form two separable, autonomous entities, but connect with each other through complex relationships, including theological, psychological, phenomenal, aesthetic and historic dimensions. These aspects, in their turn, play a role in the perception of these rituals by the faithful and in their spiritual lives. Considering the fact that church rituals from their very beginning were intertwined with doctrinal truth, changing these rituals may have a tremendous effect on religious conscience and a severe impact on the faithful. Nevertheless, centuries of persecution and the nature of their origin have made some old believers culturally conservative. Some old believers consider any pre-Nikonian Orthodox Russian practice or artifact as exclusively theirs, denying that the Russian Orthodox Church has any claims upon a history before Patriarch Nikon. However, Russian economic history of the late 19th and early 20th centuries reveals the old believer merchant families as more flexible and more open to innovations while creating factories and starting the first Russian industries. Main Differences Between the Old Believers and Post-Nikonian Russian Orthodoxy Old Believers use two fingers while making the sign of the cross while New Style Orthodoxy uses three fingers for the sign of cross held together at point, two fingers folded. Old Ritualists generally say the Jesus Prayer with the sign of the cross, while New Ritualists use the sign of the cross as a Trinitarian symbol. This makes for a significant difference between the two branches of Russian Orthodoxy, and one of the most noticeable. Old believers reject any changes and emendations of liturgical texts and rituals introduced by the reforms of Patriarch Nikon. Thus they continue to use the previous church Slavonic translation of the Greek texts, including the Psalter, striving to preserve intact the pre-Nikonian practices of the Russian church. Old believers only recognize performing baptism through three full immersions, in agreement with the Greek practice, but reject the validity of any baptismal rite performed otherwise. Old believers perform the liturgy with seven prosphora, instead of five as in new rite Russian Orthodoxy or a single large prosphoron, as sometimes done by the Greeks and Arabs. Old believers chant the Alleluia verse after the Psalmody two times rather than the three used in the Nikonian reforms. Old believers do not use polyphonic singing as the new style Russian practice, but only monodic, unison singing. They also have their own musical notation, not with linear notation, but with special SIGNSA Euro Qki or Znamina. Old believers practice several different types of Znamini chant, 
Stolpov chant, Great Znamini chant, Lesser Znamini chant, Putoy chant, Pomorsky chant, Demistrini chant, etc. In this respect it represents a tradition that parallels the use of Byzantine chant and pneumatic notation. Present Situation in 1971 the Moscow Patriarchate revoked the anathemas imposed on the old believers in the 17th century. In 1974, the Russian Orthodox Church outside Russia issued a new cars revoking the anathemas and asked forgiveness from the old believers for the wrongs done to them. Under their auspices, the first efforts to make the prayer and service books of the old believers available in English were made. Nevertheless, most old believer communities have not returned to communion with the majority of Orthodox Christianity worldwide. Estimates place the total number of old believers remaining today at from 1 to 2 million, some living in extremely isolated communities in places to which they fled centuries ago to avoid persecution. One old believer parish in the United States, located in Erie, Pennsylvania has entered into communion with the Russian Orthodox Church outside Russia after a split in the congregation. The remainder have continued as old believers. Old believer churches in Russia currently have started restoration of their property, although old believers face many difficulties in claiming their restitution rights for their churches. Moscow has churches for all the most important old believer branches, Rogozskaya Zastava, a cathedral for the Novozybkovskaya hierarchy in Zamoskvashnaya and Priobrazhanskaya Zastava where Pomorzy and Fatozyovtsy coexist. Within the old believer world, only Pomorzy and Fatozyovtsy treat each other relatively well. None of the other denominations acknowledge each other. Ordinary old believers display some tendencies of intra-branch ecumenism, but these trends find sparse support among the official leaders of the congregations. Modern-day old believers live all over the world, having fled Russia under Tsarist persecution and after the Russian Revolution of 1917. Some old believers are still transient throughout various parts of the world today. Significant established old believer communities exist in the United States and Canada in Plamondon, Alberta, Woodburn, Oregon, Erie, Pennsylvania, Erskine, Minnesota and in various parts of Alaska including near Homer and the Fox River area villages of Vozsenka, Razdolna, and Kachemikselo, Nikolaevsk, Beryotseva, Delta Junction, and Kodiak, Alaska. Two flourishing communities also exist in Sydney, Australia and in the South Island of New Zealand. Communities also have been established in many parts of South America, including Brazil, Uruguay, Bolivia and Argentina. Small hidden communities have been found in the Russian Far North and various regions of Siberia, especially concentrated in the areas between the Altai Mountains and Duva Republic. Perhaps the highest concentration of older established old believer communities, with foundations dating back hundreds of years, can be found concentrated in eastern Siberia, specifically the Transbaikal region in desolate areas of Burisha and Zabikalsky Krai. Others, like the Lykov family fled later into the wild to avoid communist persecution. The Lipervans, who live in Romania's Danube Delta, are descendants of the old believers who left Russia in around 1740 to avoid religious persecutions. Conservative old believer population stands at some 3,000 in Bolivia, while that in Alaska is estimated at 2,500. In Estonia, there are 2,605 old believers according to 2011 census. Old believer churches, Lipovan Orthodox Old Right Church, Lipovans. Pumorian Old Orthodox Church, Russian Old Orthodox Church, Russian Orthodox Old Right Church, Union of Old Believer Parishes in Estonia. See also, Traditionalist Catholic, Kavanchkina, Lykov Family, Old Believers, Old Believers in Lithuania. Notes. References and select bibliography. Equals in English equals, Cheriniovsky, M. The Reception of the Council of Florence in Moscow, Church History XXIV, 147 Euro 57. Shevchenko I, Ideological Repercussions of the Council of Florence, Church History XXIV, 291 Euro 323. Crummy, Robert O. The Old Believers in the World of Antichrist. 
the Bi Community and the Russian State, Wisconsin UP, 1970, Gill, T. The Council of Florence, Cambridge, 1959, McCulloch, Diamade, A History of Christianity, 2009, Penguin 2010 ISBN 978-0-14-102189-8, Chapter 15, Mirendov, P. Russia Euro Ritual and Reform, The Liturgical Reforms of Nikon in the 17th Century, Christwood, New York, St. Vladimir's Seminary Press. Zenkovsky, Sergei The Ideology of the Denisov Brothers, Harvard Slavic Studies, 1957. 3, 49 a euro 66, a euro 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 a euro, the old believer Avicom, Indiana Slavic Studies I. Pages 1 a euro 51. A euro 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 a euro. 1960. Pantechism and Islam in Russia, Harvard UP. A euro 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 a euro. The Russian Schism, Russian Review 16, pages 37 a euro 58. Further reading, Old Orthodox Prayer Book. Trans and ed by Pim and Simon, Theodore Jilwicks, and German Suyuba. Erie, Penn Russian Orthodox Church of the Nativity of Christ, 1986. NB consists of the Liturgy of the Old Believers, as also now authorized for use in parishes of the canonical Russian Orthodox Church. Texts in Russian and English on facing pages. Without ISBN. Equals in Russian equals, th th three quarters th n florin th plus or minus th th one half n th 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 to the first th 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 n n th three quarters n euro th n n euro n florin n n th th three quarters th to the first n th micron n euro th th squared th through a three quarters n th th squared th degree 1900 slash Golubinsky ge History of the Russian Church, Moscow, 1900, a euro 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 a euro, THSH TH. One half TH degree N TH micron TH to the first TH TH three quarters TH TH micron TH one quarter TH 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 micron N TH three quarters N N TH degree N euro TH three quarters TH three quarters TH plus or minus N euro N TH N TH degree TH one quarter TH TH micro what TH 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 slash contribution to our polemic with the old believers, Ariode, 1905. A euro 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 th n th n euro th degree th squared th th micron th one half th th micron th th one half th th cubed th n euro th 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 degree n on euro th th degree n euro n th micron th 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 three quarters th one half th micron th 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 three quarters n th th micron th n florin n n per mil th n th th degree n on euro th th degree n euro n th degree n through a three quarters n th th squared th degree th th n th th n th th degree th squared n th one half n th th three quarters th to the first th n florin th no n on florin n euro n slash Dmitrovsky j a the correction of books under patriarch Nikon and patriarchs after him Moscow Jaziki Slavanskaj Kulitary 2004 th Th micron th one half knoweth th three quarters th squared n th 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 to the first th 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 n florin n n th th three quarters th micron n n th degree n euro th three quarters th three quarters th plus or minus n euro n th n th micron n n th squared th three quarters n th three quarters th one quarter i th two through a three quarters n th th squared th degree 2006 slash Zenkovsky essay Russia's Old Believers, Volumes I and II, Moscow. 2006.
THSHTH degree THN TH micron N euro TH micron TH square TH TH currency tithe degree N on euro TH TH degree N euro N TH 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 three quarters TH one half TH TH micron TH cubed TH three quarters TH N euro TH three quarters N TH TH square TH one half TH 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 square TH TH micron TH TH micron TH N TH Th n euro th degree th square th th micron th one half th n n th micron n euro th th three quarters th square th one half n x th three quarters th plus or minus n euro n th th three quarters th squared through with three quarters n th th squared th degree 1913 slash captive n f patriarch Nikon and his opponents in the correction of church rituals Moscow. 1913, a euro 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 th pi degree n euro th degree th n th micron n euro th one half th th to the first th th three quarters n n th 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 n euro th degree th squared th three quarters n th th degree th squared th one half th three quarters th one quarter n florin th squared th three quarters n n th three quarters th n florin th squared 16 th 17 th squared th squared Fu with three quarters n th th squared th degree slash captor of nf character of the relationships between Russia and the Orthodox East in the 16th and 17th centuries, Moscow, 1914. THSH TH degree N Euro N TH degree N TH three quarters TH squared TH 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 N TH micron N Euro TH 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 three quarters Th N N Th three quarters N Euro Th Th N Euro N Florin N N Th Th three quarters Th to the first N Th micron N Euro Th Th squared Th Tithe degree N Euro Th Th paragraph 1959 slash Kara of A V outlines of the history of the Russian Church Paris 1959 Th sh th n n th micron th squared n th 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 to the first th thy th three quarters n th th one half th micron th one half th n year euro eight through with three quarters n th th squared th degree 1956 a euro 1959 slash klj uaf ski jp works year euro eight moscow 1956 a euro 1959 Fu with micron th knoweth one half th 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 three quarters th squared th currency th th sh n euro th degree n th th degree n th n n th three quarters n euro th n th n euro th micron th squared th th micron th n euro th degree th squared th three quarters n th th degree th squared th one half th three quarters th to the first n th micron n euro th th square th 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 degree n euro th one half th degree n florin th 1999 slash milnikov fi short history of the old orthodox church barn all 1999 thq euro n florin n th micron th square th 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 three quarters th knoweth one quarter th th n euro th micron n n n th squared th three quarters th to the first th n n th three quarters n euro th n n n th degree n euro th three quarters th three quarters th plus or minus n euro n th n th micron n n th squared th degree th squared n th three quarters th plus or minus n n th n n th 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 n th degree n th th degree n euro th one half th degree n florin th 2009 slash year rush of da take up your cross most influential persons and events in the history of old belief barn all 2009 NB all these works come from scholars and scientists, none of them old believers, except for Milnikov and Yurashev. External links, Old Believers in North America Euro a Bibliography